Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. Game here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another exciting unboxing for you guys, which is the Moth X phone stand. Why does it make it special? We will find out in a short while. So without further ado, let's check it out. Moth has included the wall mount for the Kickstarter to stick on anywhere you want, but we will talk about that later on. As you may know that I have been a fan of packaging design, let's have a look at the back of the design. Judging from the illustrations itself, we can see that it is well thought of with a simple and clear instruction, enough for people to understand. Bottom part, it will be the barcode and the authentications QR code. As you may know that there are a lot of ripoff replica out there due to their success of the product, so everybody start to do the same thing as they do. So whenever you purchase, make sure you see this QR code. They have three color to select from. Space Gray, Midnight Blue, and Green. I'm a fan of both color, but each of the color has its own uniqueness to it. But I'm a fan of the Midnight Blue and Space Gray. So I'm just going to unbox one of them, which is the Midnight Blue. It seems like leather looking kind. Definitely not an easy hand unboxing. Wow! So here it is. Okay, they have included a little note. So let's see what it's written. Bruh. This two sheet of transparent thing is for you to stick on any phone that is a glass backing. Just peel off and stick onto your phone and wait for a good 24 hour before sticking the X stand on it. Here's the product. Morph X stand. This is what I call design with thought. It has made a very good use with the magnet. I did something similar before with my calendar design using magnet too. If anybody interested of what I've done before, I'll link that in the description below and you can judge me for that. What? Oh, before I forgot, they have actually included a special version for iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max due to the backing of its special surface. So make sure you have to buy the special edition if you are using iPhone 11 Pro. Alright, right now I'm just going to show you how I'm going to paste onto the phone. Over here, I have an old iPhone 7 with an original Apple case on it which I'm just going to paste over it without taking off the case. First off, just basically wipe off the dirt from your phone and make sure it's a clean surface before pasting anything on it. Align it to see whether which suits you best but for me, I just flush it all the way to the bottom. Peel off the protective sticker from the stand and paste it down to your phone. Just press gently and it will stick into it. The glue it's super strong so there's no need to worry that it will come off anytime. Look at the way that I shake. Basically there's no sign of dropping or anything that is loose adhesive or whatsoever. So I even tried to use force to pull it apart but they stick quite well. I'm actually amazed by the glue itself. Next I'm going to show you how good is the stand. As we can see from this angle it's about 60 degree which is a good angle to stand on the table. So you can do your live streaming without having any issue of looking for stuff to hold it up. And it's also good that it could stand while it's on the landscape format which I believe it will help people who watch their favorite YouTuber or movie outside their home. Next I'm going to show you how easy to set up. It just took about one second or so to make the whole thing stand up. Just basically pull out and it will stand by itself. The next great thing about this card holder is that they mentioned that it could hold up to at least three cards but I always like to break the rule so I tested with four definitely possible but it's going to be very fair so what i'm going to do now is to remove one card and replace with one business card it's hard to take it out after that so well i guess the best is still keep it 
Holding style. I believe a lot of people will compare it with pop socket. They are great, but they seem quite feminine as compared to this. And the advantage of this is the cut holder. And they mentioned that the glue can be peeled off and replaced more than five times. Okay, everything is under control once I press it back normal once again. I guess the reason happened it's also due to the edge of the leather case. But I will say the glue that they use I'm really surprised because there's no residue on the phone. Alright, if anybody who who are curious about iPhone X size, here's how it looks. But I'm just going to paste over the moment case instead of the phone itself. So over here, the glue still seems to be very very strong, even though I have peeled it off and repaste it again. This is how it looks when you carry outside, quite stylish, I would say. Let's say you're a clumsy person or often time you drop things. This could potentially help from preventing you dropping your phone. Alright, last but not least, does it work for wireless charging? And the answer is... No. Due to the RAR ID protection, meaning to say that if let's say you are using a lot of Apple Pay, this could potentially be a problem for you because this thing does not transact any wireless contact. Does it make sense? And here I took out the case just to prove that my wireless is working. Alright guys, here's the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I read all comments. Share this video if you think it's useful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.